Hey guys, I just want to show you something today. It is basically a continuation to the video that I took about how to clean an electronic air cleaner. And there have been a lot of questions about how to maintain it, how to turn it on, how to test things. Um, and also a lot of questions about the post filters. So I'm going to present this particular one to you so that I can explain what I found here. I put everything back together so I can show you in the condition that I found it. So this right here is an electronic air cleaner or EAC and in this particular installation the air comes from the house to the crawl space, comes back up through this duct into the filter, it gets filtered up into the top duct where it can get sucked back into the furnace and goes back down. So that's this particular installation. Yours would come from the top, could come from the right side, the left side, it may be installed in a different configuration. Either way, you should know that there is one direction airflow and usually what you want to do before you work on it is turn it off at this button, which may also look different for yours. And if the light is off, means there is no power. One way to test if there is power is to turn the battery on, button on over here. And with this test button, if you hear a spark, it means everything is functional. If you don't hear a spark, it means that the coils are wet Maybe there's debris left somewhere around the edges of the coil and it's shorting the coil out to the casing. Or there may be some debris in between the fins of the cleaning cell. <clears throat> so those are some things to keep in mind. I've also had some of you that commented and said, hey, I turned it back on and the lights don't come on. This requires airflow for it to operate. There is a pressure sensor here that measures airflow and when there is airflow, it will activate power to the unit. So right now I have the furnace off because I'm diagnosing some other issues here and um, that's not operating. So right now you're not going to see power. And if I had more time, I would turn it on and explain that to you and show you how it comes on when there's airflow. But I'm not going to do that today because I don't have a lot of time and there's a lot of emergencies going on. I just wanted to take this opportunity to answer some of your questions. So I'm going to end yank on this pretty hard, set it down, and as you can see here, the, air, the arrow is pointing up, which is the correct airflow for this unit. The first thing that I saw when I got here was the fact that these cells were quite dirty, and it's kind of hard to tell without looking at it very, very closely, but there's a ton of very fine dust just built up. And don't have to feel bad if this is the case in your home, it doesn't mean you have a dirty house or anything like that. It just means that it's doing its job and collecting a lot of dust. So this is not a ref reflection on, on your housekeeping or anything like that. It happens in the cleanest houses, so there's nothing to worry about. It just means it's doing its job. One thing that I saw that's a little bit different here, which is incorrect, so I wanted to point that out, because the airflow goes this way, this would be called upstream, where the air is coming from, and that has to have those metal pre-filters they just catch really large particles of dust. And in my other video, I don't have those in that system, so I couldn't sh Actually, I do have those in those systems, in that, in, in that video. That system had one. What I don't have there is these post filters, which are installed incorrectly in this situation because they have to be installed after the filter. That's why they're called filters. And these, these blue things right here, and what they do is they they cause static pressure air filtration. Just the air passing through gets, uh, through static pressure, gets charged and collected on these. The problem here is they are not installed correctly in the, in the post filter location. They are installed pre filter and they are 100% clogged up. And this is not the purpose of these units. And they're not designed to do this because they cannot keep the airflow going. I so happen to have found here extremely high static pressure, which is the equivalent of your blood, you know, high blood pressure. Um, so that's really unhealthy for the system. It can burn out compressors and motors and heat exchangers. It can cause thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of damage. It can cause infiltration and additional uh, energy consumption and, and all kinds of wasted energy and money. So uh, it's important to do this correctly. So after I wash these, I'm going to install them up here after the filter so this is the correct way to install these and these particular ones would go here and then we would need to order and put in some pre-filters the other thing that you can do and i'm not sure if i mentioned this in my last video 
but you can use a pleated filter. In this case, it would be a 20 by 25 by 4 or 20 by 25 by 5 air filter and anywhere from MERV 10, MERV 11, MERV 13, MERV 16, M-E-R-V, uh, MERV 16 would be the best. And they cost anywhere from about $35 up to about $100, depending on the efficiency that you're going to get. So that's all I wanted to explain here is how I found these. They're incorrect. I showed you the correct location to put them, which is after the filter, based on the direction of the airflow. And if you guys have any more questions, or if I haven't explained anything well enough, or if I went too fast, feel free to post your comments below, answer me a question. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much.